Don't believe everything you think by Joseph Yen Chapter 5 If we can only feel what we are thinking don't we need to think positively to feel that way There is a caveat that I haven't mentioned yet to the principle that we can only feel what we are thinking The more accurate way of describing it is that we can only ever feel negative emotions when we are thinking the goal isn't necessarily to completely stop feeling negative emotions some of the negative emotions can be helpful such as feeling fearful when deciding to walk down a dark alley alone with no one else in sight these negative emotions are only helpful to us in terms of survival but if we don't constantly encounter life or death situations negative emotions are more unhelpful than helpful for most of us we are going to be moving forward with the context that we are not struggling for physical survival so we'll be using the context that negative emotions are not necessary most of the time when i mention that we can only ever feel what we are thinking Most people assume that we must think positive to feel positive emotions. Instead of convincing you if this is true or not, let's do another thought experiment so you can experience the truth for yourself. Recall a time when you felt the most joy and love you have ever felt in your life and feel the feelings that you felt at that time as much as you can for at least 30 seconds. What kinds of thoughts were going through your mind at that peak moment when you felt the most joy and love? I'm not asking what you were doing at that time, but what thoughts were going through your head at that exact moment? For many people that answer this, they realize that they didn't have any thoughts during that exact moment. For others, they say that the thought was that they were so grateful or happy for those that answered that they had the thought that they were grateful did you feel that joy and love before you had that thought or after take 10 to 15 seconds to answer that question before moving on what insights and epiphanies did you have what's crazy is that most people didn't have any thoughts going through their mind when they felt the happiest and the most amount of love in their lives for those that had the thought that they were grateful they felt that way before having that thought if they had that thought it happened after they felt the feelings so the thought could not have produced the feeling this bring us to another truth you do not have to have thoughts or think to feel positive emotions the beautiful part about truth is that it needs no justification because it can be experienced right here right now it doesn't need to be proven or rationalized to you and you experience this truth first hand by the experiment we just did here is why we don't need to have thoughts or think to feel positive emotions like joy and love Our natural state of being is joy, love, ecstasy, freedom and gratitude. This may be hard to believe because if it's natural, why don't we feel that way all the time? I'll answer this in a bit. If we want to see the natural state of anything, one of the best ways is to look at nature and the state of it in its infancy before it is affected and conditioned by its environment. For example, Let's look at the natural state of a baby. What is a baby's natural and default state? Assuming the baby was in abused, neglected or had any physical issues. Are babies naturally stressed, anxious, fearful and self-conscious? Or are they naturally in a state of bliss, happiness and love? Our natural state of being is joy, love and peace. Therefore, any thinking that we do will only take us away from those natural state of being which is why whenever we feel extremely stressed we are having a lot of thinking going on the strength of the negative emotion we feel 
is in direct proportion to how much thinking we are doing in the moment on the other hand the intensity of the positive emotion we feel is inversely proportional to the amount of thinking we are doing in the moment in other words the less thinking we have going on the stronger the positive emotion we feel in the present to see the truth in this recall a few other memories you had when you were extremely stressed and anxious and see how much thinking was going on at the time take about 1 to 2 minutes to do this then recall a few memories where you were at your happiest or felt the most joy and love and see how much thinking you had going on at that time take another 1 to 2 minutes to do this before moving on to really experience and internalize the truth of what you see an analogy that my coach taught me that helped crystallize this concept was to imagine our mind has a speedometer like in a car but instead of miles per hour it is thoughts per minute the more thinking we have going on the higher the thoughtometer goes and if we have enough thinking going on it will go into the red zone this is when we feel extremely stressed burned out frustrated and angry it is not the content of our thinking that causes us stress but that we are thinking period the amount of thinking we have going on is directly correlated to the magnitude of stress and negative emotions we are experiencing at any given moment when you are experiencing a lot of frustration stress anxiety or any negative emotions just know that it is because you are thinking and the intensity of those emotions is directly correlated to how much thinking is going on therefore it is not what we are thinking about that is causing us suffering but that we are thinking to summarize we do not have to try to think positive to experience love joy bliss and any positive emotions we want because it is our natural state to feel those emotions the only times we don't naturally feel these emotions is when we begin to think about the thoughts we are having thus blocking the direct connection to infinite intelligence and we feel stressed anxious depressed and fearful it is not about the content of our thinking but that we are thinking which is the root cause of our suffering the intensity of the negative emotions is directly correlated to the amount of thinking we have going on in the present the less thinking we have the more space we create for positive emotions to naturally surface